Hey guys, welcome. This is Cody, and I want to tell you I appreciate you joining the Influencer E-Commerce Secrets. I want to just share uh, some brief reasons why influencer marketing is good for your e-commerce brand, and then I want to dive through what this uh, portion of the Brand Academy is going to give you. So, first off, as marketers and e-commerce entrepreneurs, we are always uh, in a search for the most cost-effective ways to promote our companies and grow the revenue. And ever since uh, e-commerce businesses um, you know, have to rely on our sales, um, we have to think creatively to make sure that our ad budget dollars go as far as possible. Um, influencer marketing can be a real asset that assists in generating more profit for you at a lower cost. Um, there is a um, platform that promotes, uh, I think it's called the, the Thompson, uh, Thompson Reuters Influencer Marketing Platform. It, uh, it promotes, it says, brands earn $6.50 per every dollar they invested on average for influencers. So influencer marketing is fast, it's growing, it's working. And, uh, you know, it's a channel that makes most companies think um, where can they invest more in, you know, their PPC, their Facebook ads, their, their SEO. Um, the influencer marketing world is making brands like us uh, really pay attention to them and give them a fair shot on driving traffic to our stores and creating sales. So first of all, I should tell you that um, who are the influencers? An influencer is an individual with a certain amount of followers on either Instagram, Facebook, or any other social networks. The process of choosing the influencer, um, it's its who's going to promote my product or service um, the best. And that's where influencer marketing comes into play. So how do I approach an influencer that has a large following that can promote my products or services? So what does this process consist of? There's going to be a ton of things in here, and I've, I've given you templates, and I'll give you step-by-step how to find influencers, how to calculate their rates, how to negotiate their rates, how to create a contract with them, um, how to build a campaign brief for them, and then approach them to uh, do a deal with you and your e-commerce brand. So uh, first off, you got to discover what social network your audience hangs out in. So you obviously don't want to approach influencers on uh, Facebook if you know that everyone that's buying from you or your audience is on Instagram, vice versa. Um, you know, you could find a blogger even who writes content uh, specific to your niche and your brand, and they might be an appropriate influencer to promote your products, uh, your products or services as well. Um, you don't have to think they don't have to just be social media um, network influencers. They can just be a large website that has a, a large amount of traffic and followers to their website as well. So um, first off, you know, it's been reported that 90% of rising influencers have already uh, done a deal with a brand. And then, you know, I think it's around 70% of them uh, work with them constantly. So they're always doing new deals with brands. So influencers are looking for ways to make money as well uh, and promote your brand, your following. Now inside Ecom uh, Influencer Secrets, you're going to be able to find out which ones are good for you. Um, I show you how to spot uh, real versus fake followers and engagements and um, create a contract with them, reach out to them, create deals. Don't worry about that stuff. Um, just understand that influencers are a real thing for e-commerce these days. So first off, number one, influencer marketing works, right? The good old fashioned, the word of mouth uh, works great in you know our day and age still. There's no one better to sell your products for you than someone else. Uh, when someone else says to their friends or their followers, hey, I promote this uh, product or this brand, uh, they're more likely to trust them. You going out there trying to convince people that you've never met, you've never seen, you've never done business with, it's a lot harder, right? So research shows that uh, influencers you know, have a higher level of credibility than the brand themselves to their audience. Um, you know, And that's, that's pretty clear why. Uh, they talk to them, they're in front of them, they see them every single day. Um, so it's our job to make sure we find the influencers that have the right audience for our brand and then just allow them to, to relay our message. Number two, it's in our uh, nature, it's a natural habit for us to, to be on social media networks, to follow or to engage with communities or tribes around things that we love the most. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be a social network, 
but you can go onto websites or brand sites that are relative to your niche. Um, you know, most of us have a favorite social media site. Most of us uh, spend a lot of our time on that certain one during the day. So a lot of your your followers are going to be the same way. They're going to spend their time on a certain social network or website, um, and it's going to be easier for you to get in front of the right uh, audience by just leveraging these influencers or these markets. Um, you know, humans are are social creatures. They uh, they have a need for daily communication. They want to be on their social networks. They want to get their likes, their shares, um, and they thrive on 